Hello, in today's video we're going to take a look at the Gardner Bender Lock Nut uh, Wrench Kit. I bought this today. I had a just a small electrical job and I saw these over at the uh, hardware store so I thought I'd buy them and give them a shot. And uh, I didn't really plan on doing a review but based on what I found with these I thought I would do a, a quick video on these anyway. So they're meant for half inch and three quarter inch uh, conduit hubs. So this one here is a three-quarter inch. So the concept is that you can grab onto it and it fits quite nicely on there. You can remove it and then there's one that's on a slightly different angle. So to help you get around obstructions so you, so you can flip it back and forth or you can turn it over to remove. So it's a three-quarter inch size. Then the half inch size, obviously, more of the same. So it seemed like it was a pretty good idea, but I ran into a problem right away with this. So I'm trying to put in a, a 20 amp, 240 volt receptacle in this little surface mount box. So you need to do a lock nut in there. But what I found was that you can't get around this tab here for the faceplate, or not the faceplate, but for the tabs on the uh, component. See, so kind of fiddle with it. If you're getting a bit of grip here, I've already tightened this by hand. But the point being is that you can't get a full turn using this with this here. So then I watched their video, I was, because I reveal, not I reveal, but uh, GB has a video on this uh, product. And they have a flush mount rectangular box like this in the side of the video that they never try to use the product on. And I think they realized that there's a, they've cut notches in this to try to make it fit better, but it just doesn't seem to work. So if you were to come in the side of a box like this, it would work fine. You can get good access. If you're doing an electrical panel, it's probably going to have a lip on it. So you're not going to be able to do uh, an electrical panel. And uh, so sometimes what you'll do is you got to scrape off the paint on the electrical panel with a screwdriver anyway. So you chisel off the paint and then you just hit this in. But if you have good access to it, you can just turn this. So you have it say it's loose, put your thumb on here and you can just turn this and it's tight. So you just practice a couple times until you get this to end where you want it to be. For me I want this to be on the side. So you could just turn it back a little bit more and eventually you'll get the end result that you want. If it's going to be inside a wall it's not as important but uh, inside walls are usually a little bit different where I work or live anyway we, we use a different kind of wire but some places use conduits and different things so I should say I'm not a journeyman so I'm not a professional electrician but that was my experience is that these tools probably have a good use but for me for this job or working in a house panel they really uh, Unfortunately, to me, they're useless. So this will be the first tool I've bought in a long time that I'm actually going to return because I just can't see uh, me ever getting my money's worth out of them. I thought if it saved me a couple minutes here and there, that would be okay. But in this case, uh, it's no no good for me. So in case you're wondering what I'm working on, so this is I bought a spot welder, and it's got a a 15 amp plug, so it's got two flats and then the ground and they say that you need to run it off of a 30 amp breaker with number 10 wire which is kind of peculiar so obviously this is like just a 15 amp receptacle with its two flats but I guess with the duty cycle and only runs five seconds maximum you're never gonna trip a breaker unless you're really cranking away at it so uh, I've got this and then I do have a, a 50 amp receptacle available. So I bought a, a chunk of cab tire there. It's uh, four number 10. 
and obviously if you're a journeyman you're going to see some things here that don't quite make sense but this is just for me for a purpose built adapter that's going to work in my case my 50 amp receptacle is protected by a 30 amp breaker so it kind of works but again it's purpose uh, use I would never sell this to anybody but in case you're wondering what it's about that's uh, what I'm building so uh, hopefully you find this informative if you do buy these and you find a, a good use for them, please let me know and uh, we'll add that to the comments. Thank you. Bye.